At some point in time, everyone has forgotten or lost a password. If you've ever had this happen to you when working with a Linux device, you don't need to stress out. There is a way that we can get in and reset a local user account so you can get logged in and back to your data. If you've ever been in a situation where you can't log into a PC or server, it's really easy to start stressing out over all the data that might be on there that you'll never be able to access again. The good news is that as long as you're using a Debian based version of Linux, kind of like Ubuntu or Linux Mint, there's a way that we can get around the booting process and actually get to where we can reset a user account without being able to log in first. So here's the few things that we're gonna need just to make sure that we can do this process the way that we have outlined here today. No way to log into the system as an administrator. If you can, there's much safer ways to do this than what we are today. Other than our issue today of not being able to log in, we assume that everything else with this device is working correctly. We also need local access to the machine, which means you can't be accessing it via remote desktop. It needs to be either with a local keyboard mouse monitor or through a KVM switch or something like that. It just can't be done remotely. And then we also need to make sure that you're trying to log in as a local user account that's currently locked out or doesn't have the password. This won't work if you're at a company network using say Active Directory or a centralized logon server. So to get started, either turn on your device, or if you're already at the logon screen, go ahead and start a reboot. While your device is rebooting, hold down one of the shift keys. This should bring up what's called the Grub Bootloader menu, and that will let us access some special options that we normally don't see while the system is turning on. From there, you want to select your default operating system. Uh, it'll say, say, Linux Cinnamon Mint or maybe Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, something like that that you would normally recognize it by. If you need to, you can hit the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to highlight the correct system. And then once you're there, press the letter E on your keyboard, and that will bring us into a text editor where we can change around some of the options that will be used while the system is booting. Inside this text editor, we want to use the arrow keys on our keyboard to go down several lines close to the end. And we're looking for the line that starts with some spaces and we'll say Linux, some more spaces, and then it'll have a forward slash boot, forward slash VM Linux dash, and then some numbers. So we wanna actually go to the end of this line where it ends in quiet space splash and go ahead and put your cursor at the end of that line and that's where we're going to type in a few things here at the end so now with our cursor in the right place we're going to type in rw space init equals forward slash bin forward slash bash once we have what it looks like on the screen here we're going to go ahead and hit f10 and that will initiate a reboot on our system once the system reboots, we're gonna be brought into just another uh, text kind of command line version here that's gonna, hopefully the last line will be root at none and then some symbols. Then at the very end of this right here, we're gonna use the common Linux command for resetting a user password and that's P-A-S-S-W-D. And what we'll do is so you type in that phrase, a space, and then the name of the user who you want to reset the password. It will ask you to change it to pick a new one. It'll ask you to confirm that. So type in the same password again, and we'll have a message that it went ahead and changed it successfully. Once that happens, we need to reboot one more time. And from the command line here, the easiest way is just hit the Control, Alt, and Delete keys on your keyboard all at the same time. As your system reboots, you may see the Grub bootloader menu one more time, and this is perfectly normal because we manually went into this option last time. So just go ahead and highlight your operating system like we did before, and this time press Enter. And now after this final reboot, we're gonna be brought into our standard logon screen that we're used to seeing. You're gonna have your username listed there. Go ahead and type in the new password that we just selected and it'll take you right into your desktop where you've got all the data that you didn't even lose. <laughs> 